The state of Colorado will give our voting information to the president's commission, but will not give up everything requested. The response to President Trump's commission tops our news. Thanks for being with us. I'm Britt Marino. The president created the commission with an executive order to prove voter fraud. The commission sent a letter to all 50 states requesting voters' information. Our Jamie Leary is covering Colorado first for us. Jamie, what does our secretary of state have to say about all this? Secretary Williams actually called the letter from the Advisory Commission refreshing, at least when referring to the first seven bullet points or questions the commission sent to all 50 states. Now, Williams addressed the letter to members of the media this afternoon, saying he's glad the commission is asking for this information before making a decision. He said that rarely happens. Some of the seven requests detailed in the commission letter involve whether or not the state has seen evidence of voter fraud and how the commission can better support states with regard to cybersecurity. The eighth question, however, was what Williams really wanted to make clear. The commission in the eighth question asked for all 50 states to release publicly available voter information. Williams says his office plans to hand over exactly that. Only what is publicly available. So information like your name, year of birth, political party and voter history. Like did you register and did you cast a ballot? Not who did you vote for and no social security numbers. Critics, though, argue that the commission has alternative motives with this information request, mainly surrounding Trump's allegation that there were three to four million fraudulent votes cast in 2016. Secretary Williams believes this number was exaggerated, but says the commission doesn't actually have to provide a good reason to obtain this information because, again, it's all publicly available. I believe that there is going to be an effort to look at the breadth of the challenges we face in the elections area. Having said that, are there some on the commission who have a particular thing they're more concerned about than others? I suspect that's probably true. But again, Colorado's response is based on the requirements of Colorado law and not the assessment of the purity of motives of anybody. Now, as far as investigation into voter fraud in Colorado specifically, Secretary Williams said they are still working on looking into that. He expects the final results to be available within the next few months. CBS4 did a special report and investigated this and found only about a dozen cases over the past 16 years. So there's still some information that needs to be resolved regarding that. We'll continue to follow the story. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary, CBS4 News. Thank you, Jamie. Developing now, an investigation is on.